the Fox 43 kitchen with Olivia's. Remind everyone what you're making. What? Well, wait, what are we making? No, lobster. just kidding, guys. Come on, a lobster caseri. Oh, all right. I love lobster. I was talking about the lobster. I was talking about why is it called the lobster caseri? Caseri is a Greek cheese, medium to mm. hard consistency, okay? Like I said, I have my rice going in the oven. Now that's in there. Now during the tease, what I did was I pulled my rice out, okay? Right here, overhead cam. Can you see me? Can you see me? Right there, overhead. That's the caseri cheese, okay? I have it cubed like this. That's exactly what I put on top, that rice pilaf at the half halfway point. It's in there now, getting melty, getting gooey, getting delicious. I'll make sure to show you in the final segment. All right, but while that rice is going, I want to show you how I'm going to make the saute for this dish, okay? Mm. It's a scampi, as I said. So, we've got olive oil in there, getting hot. All right, fresh shallots are going in here. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm is right, all right? Scampi, so we need a good amount of garlic. A scampi is essentially white wine, butter, garlic, and some lemon, all right? That's it. Need a pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, stirring this around, do, 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 you know what I mean, that fancy television stuff. Okay, sizzle, sizzle. I'm gonna let that sit right there. Mom, do you have a sifter ready by chance so I can squeeze this lemon in there? I wanna show you something cool that I got going on here, all right? This is ready to deglaze. You don't want any browning. You don't want any browning when you're making a scampi, as mm. I said, so you're gonna deglaze right away. My white wine's in there. Now I'm gonna squeeze some lemon in here as well. It is a seafood dish, okay? And also, like I said, I cook my lobster to the three-quarter point, okay? It's right here, it's sitting here. I uh, poach it, as I said, three-quarters, so it's not gonna need a lot of cooking, so I'm not gonna put it into closer to the end, because I know it's gonna cook quick, and no one likes overcooked seafood of mm -hmm. any kind. So it's going in towards the end. Now, I wanna show you the cool thing about this. I got butter that I dredged in flour, on a plate of flour, butter cubes. This is gonna act as a roux. It's gonna mm -hmm. thicken my sauce, okay? And it's also gonna add that buttery flavor that a scampi needs, okay? Oh, man. I love that. Yes, yes ma'am. So it's acting as a, you know, two birds, one stone scenario. Now, while that about cooks about halfway with my butter, that's when I have my lobster. While that's going on, Miss Mom, what you got moving? Ooh. I have, let's see, I have a ghoul brew teeny. So we got, whoa, what is we've this? We've got ice cream, we've got cold brew oh coffee, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm using Kreider's ice cream. It's an espresso caramel swirl. Oh my gosh. Kreider's is from PA, Lancaster County, so I'm we so excited. It. Local. All right, so we're going to put that in our martini glass to start. Let's get a little more. Man. I want a nice big scoop. My kind of combination today, guys. My favorite yeah, thing. This is a great, great dessert drink. Now, we just want a couple ice cubes. You only need one or two, so we'll just leave them in there. Okay, then we're going to put our cold brew Jameson in there right over the ice cream. We want to pour it over the ice cream so all the flavors get incorporated. Mm. Yum, it's already looking good. It does look delicious. And then we're gonna put a little cold brew coffee in there. Got the coffee lovers covered, got there the lobster is. lovers oh, covered. That's <laughs> right. And then we gotta add our little ghoul. Before we do that, we're just gonna put a little caramel. I'm oh, just gonna add a little so extra cute. flavor. Yummy. And then here is the fun part. This is our little ghoul. So we do a little whipped cream, <laughs> pile it up there, and then we got some cute little eyeballs just to add to the front. Oh, I love what? it. And two. Oh, that is adorable. There we go. We're oh, ready for Halloween party. party. How's the sauce oh, gosh, here, Gabby? It's gonna be hot. You blow a little. You're all right. Okay, <laughs> just a little bit. And little, little, little bit. How is that? Oh White my wine, shallots, garlic. Delicious, guys. I, oh my god. I had a little bit of my chicken stock. I go over here as oh. well. I wanted to say right at the end. It's already hot. My lobster's cooked. It's nice, white, and bright. That's it. Get it off when the rice is done. Lobster rice. I'm gonna have some asparagus mm, going with it. You need it your vegetables delicious. in it. That's gonna be everything, guys. Oh Come my on gosh. now. My little taste test. That was incredible. If only we could try the drink. We'll wait till later to do that. But <laughs> Allie, we're gonna toss it back to you. You'll be coming in here soon. This is the perfect meal on a cooler day, just like it is outside. Yeah, especially with the the cocktail there I love the energy it's giving fall and I love the little ghoul so cute I'm so loving it oh. <laughs> she didn't hear you. <laughs> He's just singing to you, Allie. He's serenading I know, you, okay? Music to my ears. Thank you. I can't wait to get Music in there. 